Sometimes you might have a photo where there's a little bit of a hot spot on the face. I took this photo of my friend Kelly just right in the middle of the day here in Florida, and so she's got some hot spots on her face, which uh, is normal to happen when you're taking a photo in the middle of the day. Obviously, with portraits or even landscape, we want to take photos at dusk or dawn uh, with that magic hour lighting uh, for the most part, unless we put them in the shade, or if we use a reflector to bounce some light up to open up the shadows and try to avoid the overexposed and underexposed areas. Um, so we can remove hot spots after the fact in Photoshop though. So go ahead and open up kelly1.jpg. And there's two ways to do this that we can go over. Um, there's the patch tool. I'm going to work on a duplicate layer first of all. So press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. And just click and drag around the area. And then click and drag to an area to sample from. And it might be a little bit strong, so immediately go to Edit and then Fade Patch Selection. And then we can fade that to maybe about 50%. Or 45. Okay. And then there's the Before. I'll deselect it here. And then there's the After. And that's okay. I'll show you another way to do it, though. Uh, let's go ahead and just create a new layer. And we don't have to press Control or Command J. Just create a new layer in the bottom of the Layers panel. And instead of the patch tool, let's use, if we tried the healing brush tool, if we just select the background layer, we'll press the left bracket to make this smaller a little bit, and I just click and drag around there. It doesn't do a very good job. You can see here it pulled some dark hues from the hair. So I'm going to edit undo. So instead of the spot healing brush tool, we need to use the healing brush tool because we need to control where it's sampling from. And where it says sample, make sure you have all layers selected, because if you have current layer and we're on this top layer that we're going to paint onto, then it would just be sampling transparent, you know, area, right? No pixels. So let's do all layers on the sampling up on the options panel, and then hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and we're just going to sample from over here. Alt click. And then just make sure your brush hardness is set to 0% for a nice soft edge and then click and drag like so. It's still a little bit dark there so I'm going to alt click over here and alt click here. Alright, so it's a little bit dark. So I created it on a new layer All right, and the reason I did that is because we can bring the opacity down and it brings some of the shine back All right, but it's not as bad as the original. So there's the original there's it with 100%, which also looks kind of problematic. So this is why we work on duplicated layers or new layers. So about 40% looks pretty good. We want a little bit of shine there because it would look unnatural with no highlights there from the sun. But it was just a little bit overexposed with, uh, in the original. So that's how you remove hot spots, just two ways to remove them in Photoshop.